Dear friends, good evening. Today I would like to do an interesting video on wealth creating yogas in astrology. So there are hundreds of wealth yogas in astrology. So the crucial uh, houses, planets that we need to see is um, the natural wealth karakas, Venus, Jupiter, also Moon. And uh, second house, fifth house, ninth house, eleventh house and also seventh house also if you are into business so these combinations the planets that have strong connection with these houses play a crucial role in creating wealth so especially the jupiter venus aspect combination with kendra or kona lords uh, they in fifth house ninth house tenth house or in eleventh house or in second house they create immense wealth and also the second lord in second house, second lord in ninth house, eighth lord in second house, and second lord in tenth house, and eleventh lord in second house. So the mutual exchange between second and ninth lords, mutual exchange between second and eleventh lords, mutual exchange between second and tenth lords, mutual exchange between second and fifth lords. These are all very powerful wealth generating yogas. So instead of that, there are some. Other yogas like uh, mentioned in uh, traditional astrology, Gajikesri Yoga is one of the uh, wealth, wealth generating yogas and also Chandra Mangala Yoga is also one of the uh, wealth generating yoga. So Gajikesri means uh, uh, it's uh, Jupiter and uh, Moon's conjunction or mutual aspect in Kendra or Kona houses or, or in 11th house and this uh, Chandra Mangala is uh, Mars and uh, uh, moon's uh, conjunction or mutual aspect in Kendra. So that forms uh, Chandra Mangala Yoga. These, these two are also very good uh, uh, wealth creating yogas. Also, uh, you need to see the Ashtakvarga points. Then the actual strength of uh, uh, these houses, the planets, uh, can be seen through Shadbala and Ashtakvarga. So the second house law, the second house uh, uh, Ashtakvarga points. 5th house Ashtakvarga points, 9th, 11th, 10th houses Ashtakvarga points, they have to be very good for, for a person uh, to, uh, to succeed in making a big, big wealth in life. So when, uh, when uh, these combinations occur, 2nd and 11th, 11th and 9th, 9th and 10th, and 9th and 10th is also very powerful wealth generating yoga. This is called uh, Dharma Karmadpati Yoga. So this gives fame, position, status and also immense wealth. And if 11th Lord is also involved, it's a huge, huge wealth. And uh, in, in many charts, I have seen this pattern like uh, uh, Venus uh, in exaltation, uh, Rahu in Leo also is a generator for wealth, a so very good uh, uh, wealth yoga, uh, especially in 8th house uh, Rahu in Leo because he aspects the uh, 2nd house. And uh, planet sitting in 2nd house, planet sitting in 11th house, they have uh, a big say in creating a big role in creating uh, wealthy yogas and also the mutual exchange of the mutual exchange of uh, 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 kendra or uh, kona lords like 5 9 1 10 7 so if a person to succeed in business so his seventh lord should 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 be in conjunction with second 11th 9th or 10th for a person uh, to flourish uh, and make big money in uh, career his 10th lord should uh, should be in conjunction with uh, second uh, and ninth because ninth house is a house of fortune and also planets in pushkaramsa suppose uh, there, uh, there are some planets okay so in an individual horoscope uh, which are uh, chief karakas for wealth if they are in pushkaramsa so they have deep impact in creating wealth so if fourth house is involved with 11th and second this guy makes money through real estate sale and purchase of lands vehicles and if seventh lord is involved with the second and 11th then through business through contracts through agreements and if ninth and tenth lord are, are also involved with second and fifth, 
than you know through speculation through travel and also we need to see the navamsa chart also like just looking at rasi chart it won't it won't promise uh, wealth so we can we can we can say we can predict up to some extent just looking at the outer view of uh, uh, you know, rasi chart but navamsa should be also be seen if these uh, combinations are in navamsa then they they become more powerful in generating wealth because navamsa gets activated navamsa actually comes into picture into foreground once a person reaches 30 35 years age so ideally when when he gets married so the first thing the first fortune his wife brings after that his children bring fortune so the the natural wealth wealth karakas venus and uh, jupiter if they own these houses and they conjunct in these benefic houses 2 5 7 9 11 and also if they have very good astakvarga points in the house they are sitting then you know the wealth that they give is very, really promising and also we need to see that 12th house because 12th house is a house of loss actually it's not loss it's a kind of investment what happens when you when you invest you you end up with no money so excessive investment is also not good to become wealthy because you leveraged all your potential and you you invested you keep investing and you never get returns so unless the 11th house is in connection with 12th house Uh, or you know uh, the eleventh house agrees twelfth house. Th- this person may not make good money out of his investments. So we need to see astakvarga points of twelfth house as well, because this this person's goal is only investment. Because just investing won't give you money. you need to see the fulfillment of your desire the fulfillment of your investments and your 11th house lord should cooperate should agree with 12th house lord then only you know uh, this person makes uh, money significant money through his investments if 12th house has more astakvarga points than 11th house so it means that you know this person is is known for investing money not for you know Uh, making profit so he waits for ages and not sure if he ever get returns back so uh, friends uh, this is uh, my analysis about uh, wealth generating yogas uh, if you like my video please press that uh, like button and also subscribe to my channel if you are looking for more detailed information about wealth yogas please look at, please take a look at my website there are some specific areas that i actually detailed about the divisional charts so you can get more information about these yogas thank you very much